Knock it off! Sit down! Mr. Reed, it is out of sheer morbid curiosity. I'm allowing this freak show to continue. Mrs. Cole, if you dare. Mrs. Cole, is this a copy of your driver's license? Yes. It says here you're a blonde, are you? If you don't remember, perhaps Mr. Falk will. Brunette. We can play the tape again. Maybe it's on there. I'm a brunette. Thank you. Now, let's see. Weight 105? <laughs> yeah, in your bra. Your Honor, I object. You would. Bad. Hey, quiet. Overruled. Weight. 118. All right, fine, fine. I'm 127. Uh-huh. And it says here you were born in 1964, but that's not true either, is it? Is it? No. Can you tell me what it says here on your birth certificate under date of birth? Your Honor, I object. What does this have to do with anything? Overruled. Mrs. Cole, answer the question. 1965. Now, let me get this straight. That would mean that you lied about your age to make yourself older. But why would any woman want to do that? I changed it so I could get married. And the truth shall set you free! My client lied about her age. She was only 17 when she got married, which makes her a minor. And in the great state of California, no minor can enter into any legal contract without parental consent, including Prenuptial agreements. Prenuptial agreements! This contract is void. The fact that my client has been ridden more than Seattle slew is irrelevant. Standard community property applies, and she is entitled to half of the marital assets, or $11.395 million. Jordan fades back. Swoosh. And that's the game! Nothing further, Your Honor. Order. In light of this new evidence, the court must rule in favor of Mrs. Cole. She is hereby awarded half the marital assets. Ah! The son of a bitch pulled it off! I didn't know she was underage. It doesn't matter, the contract's void. Order. Order. <laughs> <laughs> 